Hello, this is Bruce Ludeman with HangarBuddies.com. Not here this morning at a Missouri City Airport near Kansas City, Missouri on the east side with my good friend Dennis Brooks. Uh, Dennis flies the Hummel aircraft, both the Ultra Cruiser and the H5. And Dennis is a kind of partner, although he's not a partner right now, he's a kind of partner that you'd like in a aircraft, one of the nicest people that you ever want to meet and meticulous with his care of the airplane. Uh, Dennis, when did you build this 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 particular kit? Wooden kit. Wasn't it? Okay. So explain a little bit about the history of it. Well, I bought the plans from Hummel. Okay, so it's a plans built, scratch yeah. built. Yeah. yeah. With, with the scratch built plans where you bought the raw materials and right. cut everything out on that, what was the build time approximately? I'm going to say three years because if it was nice out, I wasn't going to work on that, I'd go fly that. Okay, all right. So, okay. And did you build it here in the hangar or no. did you build it in a garage? Well, in the garage and the living room and the dining room and the kitchen. Other than that, in the garage, yeah. Okay. One of your famous flying companions is your dog Spike. What yep. kind of breed is that? That is a Yorkie. A Yorkie, okay. A long legged, very, very good Yorkie. Okay. Well, in watching you fly with uh, Spike, uh, I notice he's always got his head over your shoulder watching the uh, gauges and instruments. So he must be a pretty good flyer. Yeah, he does pretty good. It's uh, 1,470 hours. Okay, all right. So has he flown with you to Oshkosh? No. Okay, no. Okay. no he didn't go. It was three times I flew up there. Okay, okay. So you've actually flown this airplane three times to Oshkosh? No. Okay. Well, that one, three times to us. Oh, the, uh, the, the other other aircraft you have, yeah. the Ultra Cruiser, is a part 103. Yeah. So that would qualify as an ultra light. Right. How many uh, stops did you have to make between Kansas City Airport here and Oshkosh? Four. Four stops. Sometimes five. Okay. okay. What altitude did you fly uh, in getting to, to uh, Oshkosh? Oh, 2,500, 3,000. Okay. Now, does the Ultra Cruiser have a radio in it? Yes, okay. I got a handheld radio. Okay, and that worked okay getting yeah. into Oshkosh with you? Well, you don't need a radio to go into Oshkosh. Ah, okay. Because I landed the ultralight area. You know, oh, okay. You're not in contact with anybody. Okay, all right. So were you there the entire week? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna, are you, do you have plans to build another, uh, another airplane? Not as yet. I mean, uh, I did think about, since I built the Hummel, Ultra Cruiser built the Hummel H5. I have thought about the Hummel Bird, but it's a lot smaller. Has builder support been uh, been adequate for you? Oh yeah, Hummel Aviation is just they're just super. There's only you know about three or four. Well, actually, maybe well I'll say three or four guys, and they're just just super helpful and, and just a nice bunch of guys. Okay, and Hummel Aviation, the design has been around for about how long? Well, the, the Hummel Bird, I believe they say 30 years, okay. I think, and then, and, then the, and then the Ultra Cruiser, I believe, is 20 years, because this is a few years ago when it was having the anniversary, and then I think this is 15 on the okay. H5. So it's a proven design. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and very good uh, build of support, and I think the price is, is certainly within the budget of most flyers, especially the folks that are looking at putting a partnership together. I'll just say, by scratch building, you save a lot more money, that's for sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thanks very much for the interview this morning. Yes, sir. And we'll have some more information on some other videos here shortly concerning aircraft partnerships. Now, just to be clear, uh, this is not a partnership airplane at, at the moment, but the Hemel design, uh, the part 103 design, or the end number uh, design, even though it's a single seater, could certainly be put into a partnership arrangement. Thanks for listening, and I'll end with Dennis's favorite quote from his videos, God bless. Amen. Amen.